For a long time, people have been asking the same question over and over again. Is Aptera really moving forward or is it still stuck in preparation mode? That question matters because there's a big difference between having a bold idea and turning that idea into a vehicle that's actually ready for the road. Right now, something has clearly shifted. Aptera isn't just planning anymore. They're building, they're assembling, they're testing, and most importantly, they're validating every major system before committing to full-scale production. This is the phase where companies either prove they're serious or quietly fall apart. And everything happening now points in the one Aptera direction. Aptera is pushing like forward with intent. Vehicles are actively being assembled, and earlier updates confirmed that a batch of around 10 units was scheduled to be completed during this stage. At this point, it's reasonable to believe those vehicles are already finished or very close to completion. But the bigger story isn't the number, it's why these vehicles exist. These aren't showroom models. These aren't marketing props. These vehicles exist to be pushed, tested, and scrutinized so that when production truly begins, the foundation is already solid. That approach says a lot. Instead of rushing vehicles out the door, Aptera is using this time to identify weaknesses, eliminate inefficiencies, and solve problems early on. This kind of preparation drastically reduces the risk of delays, recalls, or costly redesigns later on. Even if production starts slowly, it starts clean, and that's how sustainable manufacturing is built. Validation testing is already in progress, particularly with the Gemini and PI3 platforms. This stage is critical. It's where assumptions meet reality. Every component is tested not just to see if it works, but to see how it behaves under real-world conditions. Efficiency targets, structural integrity, reliability, and performance all come under the microscope. And naturally, this is where anticipation starts to build. But one of the most compelling aspects of Aptera's current phase is its approach to safety, especially when you consider the category the vehicle falls under. As an auto cycle, Aptera isn't held to the same regulatory crash testing requirements as traditional passenger vehicles. Many vehicles in similar categories operate with minimal safety expectations. Riders often accept exposure and risk as part of the experience. Aptera could have done the same. Instead, they chose to go further. Rather than avoiding crash testing, Aptera is actively demonstrating how safe the vehicle is. That decision alone sets it apart. It shows that safety isn't an afterthought or a marketing checkbox, it's a design priority. When you compare Aptera to a motorcycle, the contrast becomes obvious. On a motorcycle, the rider is exposed. There's no surrounding structure, no impact-absorbing shell, and very little margin for error. In most accidents, injury is almost inevitable. Aptera changes that dynamic entirely. The occupants are enclosed within a carbon fiber SMC safety cell that surrounds them from all sides. This structure is designed to absorb energy and protect the cabin during impacts. Add airbags into the equation and suddenly you're looking at a level of protection that far exceeds expectations for the category. Aptera isn't doing this because regulations demand it. They're doing it because they want people inside the vehicle to feel secure and to actually be secure. That decision reflects confidence in the design and respect for the people who will eventually drive it. And this attention to detail doesn't stop with safety. The interior of the vehicle has seen meaningful refinement, and those changes reflect a clear transition from experimental concepts to production-ready design. Everything feels more intentional now, more durable, more practical, and better suited for everyday use.
Pedal design is a good example. Earlier versions leaned toward unconventional solutions that, while innovative, raised questions about longevity and robustness. The updated design feels sturdier and more familiar, striking a better balance between innovation and reliability. It's the kind of change that suggests real-world feedback is being taken seriously. Even smaller details show noticeable improvement. The center console and cup holder design have evolved from something that felt improvised to something that feels solid and refined. Instead of relying on flexible restraints, the updated design offers a more solid structure that holds items firmly in place. These may seem like minor adjustments, but they matter. They improve usability, comfort, and overall confidence in the vehicle. The interior layout itself feels cleaner and more cohesive. Controls are better positioned, materials feel more deliberate, and the overall design reflects a product that's nearing completion rather than experimentation. The repositioning of the emergency door latch further improves accessibility while keeping the cabin uncluttered. All of these changes tell the same story. Aptera is refining, not reinventing. They're locking in decisions, polishing details, and preparing the vehicle for real customers, not just prototypes. What makes this moment especially exciting is how all of these developments are happening simultaneously. Production preparation, validation testing, safety demonstrations, and interior refinement are all converging. This isn't random progress, it's coordinated momentum. Aptera is crossing thresholds. The upcoming validation results and crash testing outcomes will be critical milestones. They'll provide real data, not speculation, and they'll help determine how quickly the next phase unfolds. Once those results are confirmed, the path towards scaled production becomes much clearer. For those who have followed Aptera's journey from the beginning, this stage feels different. It feels earned. The company has taken a careful, deliberate approach, choosing to solve problems early rather than rush to market. That patience is now paying off. Momentum is building, confidence is growing, and the vehicle itself is finally coming together as a cohesive, finished product. Aptera is no longer just a concept or a promise, it's becoming a reality. One step, one test, and one refinement at a time. And as everything continues to fall into place, it's becoming increasingly clear that the moment when Aptera moves fully into the hands of drivers is no longer distant, it's approaching. And when that moment arrives, it won't just mark the release of a vehicle, it will represent a shift in how efficiency, safety, and innovation can coexist when they're treated with equal importance.